WinRM stands for Windows Remote Management, and it's a remote access protocol that lets you run PowerShell commands, execute scripts, and manage Windows machines over a network. The protocol is used by IT administrators and automation tools to do things like remote onto workstations to solve problems, push updates, run scripts, and more, but it also opens up an attack surface for hackers to get in. WinRM runs on port 5985 and is commonly seen in Windows-based CTFs if we're able to find user credentials to log into the server. Here in this Nmap scan, we see that we've got port 5985 open, and it's being detected as a Microsoft HTTP API web server. If we have known user credentials, we can easily access a server with WinRM enabled. By using the Linux tool EvilWinRM, we can specify the IP address or domain name of the server using the dash I flag, supplying the user with the dash U flag. And the great thing about WinRM from an attacker's point of view is that we can either supply a password or a hash of a password to gain access to the system. Here we see we've logged in using EvilWinRM as the administrator user using his password. But if we didn't know the administrator's password, but we happen to know the NTLM hash of the user's password, we could specify the dash capital H flag and then their hash to also gain access to the system. 